Welcome back to... Just a moment, please. Oi, dickhead, fight me. Down, scrub. Welcome back to Charles, plays quick. Charles in the house. This level is called Ogre Citadel, so naturally, it's knights in spades, because apparently John Romero did not take his riddle in today. A billion and one knights will charge you here, so just use the brilliant strategy of running backwards to beat the lot of them. Now that all the knights have been sent packing, we can begin our infiltration of the alleged Ogre Citadel. Oh wait, we have a survivor, one second. There, now we don't have a survivor. Anyway, there are two ways to enter the citadel, one of which is this obvious bridge here. You can shoot both switches to activate it, but in the mean god fucking damn it, I wanted to spark some infighting. Oh well, shit happens I suppose. Speaking of shit, check out Captain Oates over there, who flat out cannot fire any grenades at us, because the Y-axis is too hard for him. Okay, now that we have shot both of the switches, the way is open here, we can enter from this side if we want. Green armor, we will probably return to this later. Let me grab this Amazon, because I'm not going to enter from this direction. There is a pair of easy secrets, if you fall into the moat. Ignore the fiends, just head to this tunnel and step on the lift. Under 100 health bonus is yours. The other secret just involves you going commando along this stream, until you reach a small room with a grenade launcher. The room is connected to the back end of the citadel, but has several enemies in close proximity, so it's the more dangerous of the two, but we are playing on Nightmare, what do we care? It's tempting to kill all those fuckwits from down here, but nah, let's be reasonably legit. So as it turns out, John Romero did in fact take his Ritalin, the level goes ogre crazy at this point, and with any luck, I will be louder than the pinging and bouncing of the grenade spammers. Outplayed, motherfucker. Thresh ain't got shit on me. I get the distinct impression that the levels were not really designed with the nightmare skill in mind. Similar to Doom, Nightmare greatly increases an enemy's attack chance. I suppose I should elaborate. The old FPS games like Doom used a system of ticks, and every tick basically involved a dice roll. The dice rolls would determine all sorts of shit, like an enemy moving in a certain direction, or attacking the player. The dice rolls were not even odds, however, like when you get too close to an enemy with a melee strike. And as for the nightmare skill, it greatly increases ranged attack chance to be equal to melee attack chance. That is why you see situations where an ogre will fire a grenade over and over along the same failed trajectory at me. I could stay here for an hour, and he would never change his position or aim. He seems to fire two grenades every second, so that would be 7200 after an hour. Where the fuck does he get all those green eggs? You can't explain that. Anyway, we will deal with him a bit later. We need to work towards getting a key for this level. And these stupid knights need to get out of my damn way. Ludicrous gibs are the best gibs. What? Stained glass windows are firing green eggs at me now. Bullshit, it's just ogres. Don't worry though, I will get my revenge on stained glass windows in the next game I'll let's play. For now, however, I can't really do shit about them, so they can sit there and mock me, but their time will come. The green armor's time has come, so let's head back into the citadel now that we have an armor count higher than zero. Now we need to get to the platforms up the top. You can rocket jump up there. Well, alright, that was stupid. Anyway, as I was saying, you can rocket jump up there using a grenade if you want, but it's really unnecessary. There is a tunnel that will lead up there. Welcome to Charles Blazy Karuka. Charles in the house. That's the door. That requires the gold key. There is a small tunnel here which will lead up to the top, and we need to travel the entire top section to reach the room with the key. Alright, fine. That's not entirely accurate. You can reach the room without traveling the platforms, but the gold key will be inaccessible, because you must hit a switch to claim the fucker. Now we have reached the platforms, so we just need to reach the switch at the end. There is also a quad damage up here, which will come in very fucking handy in a few moments. There it is. 
This is how you use green it, you retarded fucking plebeian. Okay, let's move. The quad damage might seem pointless, but I beg to differ, because we are about to get dropped into a room with my favorite enemy. How's it going, Fluffy Wuffy? Now that Cuticins has been dispatched, let's grab the gold key and get going. We can head to the gold key door now, but do remember that outside section with the knights on a bridge, that leads to a secret, and I must get all the secrets, so I can say my famous catchphrase. You who are about to die, salute me. I said salute me, fucker. Yellow armor is nice, but the secret is this room here, and a 100 health bonus is the prize for not falling off the bridge like a spastic. Fuck you, stained glass, you will get yours. Let's head to the gold key door now, since the level is basically cleared out. A million pounds says there is a fiend behind this door. Big fucking surprise. Well, he jumped off the platform. This platform will lower the instant you step on it, so head over to the other side, and enjoy dodging all the green aids. And the bits of flesh, if you care too. Now for the gimmicky part of the level, a bullshit jumping puzzle. There are a few scattered zombies on these ledges, and over being a cunt over near the exit, and a few fiends down the bottom, if you happen to fuck up a jump and fall down. There is an elevator, that will bring you up, so not all is lost, but it is a pain in the bum to fall down. Stop chucking bits of yourself at me, asshole. Oh, there is another over there. For fuck's fucking sake, I would fucking fall off the fucking platforms into the fucking water with the fucking fiends, fucking fuckers. Shutting up due to concentration. Marvelous. A little perseverance is enough to get you through anything. By the way, I hid a secret in this video. Now then, let's head right on through and exit the level. Got all the secrets, as is my modus operandi, like a bruise. And that wraps up this episode. This has been Charles Plays Quick, thanks for watching as always.